Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and let's try and understand time and time scale within Unity. So what is time scale? Well, Unity runs real time, and that number that it runs at is classed as one. So real time in Unity is defined as one. Therefore, double time in Unity is defined as two. Half time in Unity is defined as 0 0.5. We can manipulate time scale if we want to, but it has different effects on the game depending on what you do. Also, time scale of zero means that Unity is frozen. However, not everything will freeze in Unity, it just depends if you reference time scale within your game. So let's put this to the test. I'm going to create a C sharp script just to rotate this little green cube right here. So I'm going to call it rotate. And all I'm going to do is in void update, I'm just going to have a transform dot rotate. And in brackets, I'm going to have this as uh, zero. So rotate zero on the X comma one. So I'm going to rotate it on the Y axis comma zero comma space dot world. Now it's a very simple script, it's literally just that one line of code inside the void update method. So I'm going to save that script and then attach it to this object. Simple as that. Now when we press play, this will rotate just normally. So keep in mind it's rotating based on the current time scale of 1 within Unity. Now. This may shock you a little bit what happens at this point, but we'll soon see. So if we right click and we create another script, C sharp script, and let's have this as change time. Now, what we can do here is change Unity itself. Now, I'm going to get rid of this again, but I'm going to have a variable. I'm going to have it as a float. So public float, and we'll have unity time scale. And I'm going to make it equal to one by default and semicolon. Now what we can do is time dot time scale equals unity time scale semicolon and save so what's going to happen at this point well when this script runs it will automatically set the time scale as one and one is the default anyway so we're not going to experience any difference whatsoever however when we do change it things will happen but like i said not everything will have an effect so firstly let's attach that script to a game object so we have it in the scene so change time on there and now we have the ability to change it right here. So let's press play. Now this is live linked to the Unity timescale. If we were to press zero, nothing is going to happen. Do you know why? I'm hoping you guys do, or at least some of you may have cottoned on. Of course we know why. So it doesn't matter at this point, whatever the Unity timescale is, whether it's one, two, three, four, zero, doesn't matter. This cube and its rotation are not linked to the time scale. So if we go to the rotate, what we would need to do is have whatever the number is here multiplied by time dot time scale and save. So now we're understanding how we can use time scale to proactively change what's happening in Unity. So pressing play, once again, we won't have any change. The cube will rotate. However, if we change this to zero, it will stop. That is because the time scale in Unity is frozen. It's, it's literally frozen. If we change it to 0.1, it will run it at a tenth of what it normally would. So you can see here changing the time scale is relative to all objects which reference that time scale. So when using movement within unity if you ever need to pause the game it's always vital to reference that time scale i cannot stress enough how important time scale is but remember i said earlier one is default two will be double you can see how it changes we can just get it looking crazy if we have 42 speed so it's running currently 
at 42 times normal real-time speed. And that's why it looks a little bit crazy. I guess you could use this for effects if you wanted to. Again, it's all down to time scale, how you can create these kind of effects. But this sort of thing, you could effectively create this and then slow an object right down. Obviously, we're in minus speed there, but you can see what kind of effects you can have when dealing with time scale. So it's something that you should probably get used to, especially if you're trying to create a pause menu, because a pause menu would mean that the Unity time scale would be zero. And that is how you can manipulate it. So guys, if you want to know any more about controlling time within Unity and understanding the time scale, then please leave a comment below. Don't forget, hit subscribe, click the bell icon, stay up to date with all the content here on the channel. And guys, I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.